Chippewa 10, the 19th Matthew Simon explores why, even with legal language on the books, Madison's mayor says we are not a sanctuary city. At the heart of the hundreds of cases she's worked on. It's, it's really, it's really gut-wrenching. Madison immigration lawyer Huma Azan says what's most gut-wrenching are the family stories. Any moment they could be detained um, for four years or their wife or husband um, may be sent back to a different country. It just seems to, to me and I think clearly to a majority of Madisonians that if they should be here illegally, that is not a proportional response to deport them. In that spirit, Madison Mayor Paul Soglin says back in 2010, the city passed a resolution. What we try to avoid is having someone jailed where you can have a, uh, the matter disposed of. Directing city police to not inform immigration and customs enforcement or ICE agents about illegal immigrants unless they're charged with violent crimes. It is why the mayor says Madison is not a sanctuary city. We do not uh, completely avoid telling ICE the status of an individual when there's a serious crime. That's what we know with this. And many of Huma Hassan's clients agree, also not seeing Madison as their sanctuary. ICE can come in at any time, you know, um, can come to any kind of proceeding, um, any type of hearing, um, and can pull over anybody and say, hey, let me see your papers. And that's because in Madison, the Dane County Sheriff's Office runs the jail. Their spokesperson says ICE has full access to the information of everyone who's booked. But at the same time, the jail will not hold someone for ICE past their sentence. Critics have said Madison's policy is a deception, and they say it encourages illegal immigration. Hmm. Well, we should mention that the mayor is responding, saying that Madison is a caring place that takes care of citizens who contribute to the community as well. So, so I want to get that big in debate continues. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Sure.